Hey Claudia, my name is Alex Stemley. I'm with Stemley Consulting Group. Uh, you messaged us on Facebook the other day and I wanted to make sure we got this video out to you as quick as possible. Uh, and in this video, I'm going to show you three things that you can do today to help bring in more customers for your business. Now, most likely you're sitting there asking yourself, why would I be doing this and what's in it for me? Well, you're lucky because I read minds, and the answer is, oftentimes in the world of the internet, most local business owners are too busy running their businesses to learn how the internet can benefit them and their company. And sometimes the only hesitation they have to hiring someone is they don't know who is an expert and who isn't. I've found by giving people an easy, free attack plan of actual things that they can do uh, for their business for free, it's actually resulted in some of those local business owners still raising their hand and saying, I like you, Alex. Please do this for me. So if by the end of this video, you've liked what you've heard and you can see that I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve that can help your business gain more clientele, shoot me a message back and we can chat. Or if at the end of this video, you simply want to take this free attack plan I gave you to do yourself, that works for me too. So now let me show you three things that will set your company above your competition and not waste any more of your time or mine. So the first thing I want to go over is something called content. Now what content is, is anything that you're going to see on your website. So as you can see, I have your website pulled up here. It's a very nice looking website, uh, very professional. I like that. So uh, as you can see here, uh, we have some content on here. Uh, content can be anything from wording to pictures uh, to uh, anything and everything, designs, anything that has keywords behind it. Now, not only uh, are we looking for just content on there, but Google likes to see uh, at least 1,500 words of content on that home page to really optimize you. Okay. Now they just can't be any words in general. These 1,500 words have to have what you call keyword rich content. Now, what a keyword is, is anytime I can go into Google and I can type in whether it be Indianapolis landscaping or landscaping Indianapolis or, uh, you know, just landscaping in general. Those are just three different types of keywords. Uh, we want to be able to sprinkle those keywords that people are typing into Google inside your content. Uh, not too much or Google actually dings you for that and it's called keyword stuffing. But we have an algorithm in place where we can tell exactly where to put it, when to put it, where Google's up only going to like it. It really helps to, to move you up. So that's the first thing we really want to look at. Now, I actually did a word count for your website, and it looks like you're sitting at 556 words. Now, not bad. It's a great start. But again, we really want to get to that 1500 mark to really start to optimize you, uh, 1500 and more. Okay. Uh, I also pulled up a uh, couple of your competition here uh, in Indianapolis so I pulled up Green Acres uh, Landscape and Design Company as you can see another very nice website uh, they have some content on there it goes and goes and goes uh, so again another pro very professional website uh, you know main competition to you and let's see what their word count is so they're sitting at 2,289 words uh, so that's fantastic uh, where they're at. Now, would that be hard for you to get to? Absolutely not. Uh, again, just takes a little bit of time to, to get that extra content in there. Not hard to do at all, though. Okay. Uh, and then going one further, I did, I uh, looked at a company called Hiddle, uh, Extraordinary Outdoor uh, Living, the landscaping company as well in Indianapolis. Uh, again, nice website goes on through not a whole lot of content there though so let's see what they have so they're only sitting at 390 words so you already have them beat when it comes to content so that's a very good thing uh, now what we would want to do we don't want to match our competition we want to completely demolish our competition so uh, again we, we would want to get that up there at least to the 1500 mark uh, and hopefully even above that in the end okay so that, that's basically really what I want to talk about when it came to content, getting keyword rich inside there to really, uh, you know, first step in optimizing you in Google. The next thing I really want to talk about is something called the Google Map Pack or Google My Business or some people just call it GMB. What it is, let me click over here. Um, we're just going to open a new tab and we're going to type in. Uh, let's type in landscaping Indianapolis when I go to landscaping Indianapolis uh, first thing you're gonna see right here 
on my page uh, is the Google Map Pack. So when we talk about Google Map Pack, what that means is anytime you type in some keywords and a map pops up, and generally there's about three businesses underneath it. Okay. Now sometimes you will see a couple more, but they'll say that they'll have the word "ad" next to it, uh, so people are paying for those. Sometimes that's good, sometimes that's bad. A lot of people have an ad blocker on, so they never even see those. But the main goal of the uh, the map pack is to get you in the top three, because when you really think about it, when you type something in that you're looking for, you really only look at the first three most of the time. Uh, why do you do that? Probably because it's just instinctive, and you think that they're the best businesses, whether they are or they're not. Those are just the first ones that pop up for you. Now, how to get on this map? Pack. Well, number one, you have to register with Google. And to register with Google, uh, what they really want is name of the company, exact location of the company, hours of operation. Uh, they want pictures. They'd like to have 20 pictures with links behind them. They'd like to have a dis uh, description with 500 words of keyword rich content. Uh, they would also like as many five-star reviews as we could possibly get. The more of this stuff that you put in there and the more you keep adding to it, the quicker you're going to be in that top three and really really bring in the, the clientele that you're looking for. The goal is to get you at, at the very top of everything uh, so you don't have to you know worry about uh, clientele in season, off season. We just want you to always be thriving. Okay. So that's the Google Map Pack, and we can get more into that in detail uh, at a later time. Now, the third thing that I really want to talk about uh, is something called citations and backlinks. Now, what a citation is, a citation is any directory that I can find your company's information. When I say directory, uh, kind of what I'm talking about is, you know, Yellow Pages, The White Book, Yext, City Star, um, Google's a directory, um, GoDaddy, different things of that nature. All of those can be considered uh, citations. And even Facebook has an area where you can submit a citation. We want to get as many directories as we possibly can. They really help boost your website credibility with Google. Uh, so citations are great, but the main piece that we really want to look at there is something called backlinks. Now, a backlink is a little bit different than a citation. A uh, backlink is any website on the internet whatsoever that I can go on there and I can find a direct link to your website. Okay, whether that be uh, uh, a blog that uh, that's talking all about landscaping and at the end of that blog you made a comment and in that comment it has your uh, link directly to your website that is considered a backlink now we Google likes to have uh, a minimum of about 250 to 300 backlinks to really rank you uh, up where you need to be where you want to be <clears throat> with a lot of power doesn't mean that people always have them uh, some people have way more but not all backlinks are considered equal okay uh, when I say backlinks considered equal uh, I would not want to put your link on a Pizza Hut website why not because you're not slinging pizza uh, so what I would want to do is strictly stay within your niche of landscaping anything that has to do with landscaping we want to put you on all those sites so I actually use another program it's called Arif's and pay about four hundred dollars a month for this but it gives me all the info that I need on every company out there so when I pull up Arif's here it looks like right now uh, you only have two backlinks so we definitely need to boost that up significantly looks like you're only getting found for one organic keyword that people are typing in so at the moment right now it doesn't look like it's bringing in uh, really any traffic for you unfortunately so we definitely want to raise that to kind of get you where you want to be now looking at some of the other companies here Again, Green Acres, one of the big competition there in Indy. Uh, let's look at their stuff. So with them, <clears throat> it looks like uh, they only have 174 backlinks. They're getting found for 317 keywords. So on average, it's bringing them about 276 new clients a month. Okay. Uh, now, with their 174 backlinks, uh, they could all be good. They may not, you know, may not have very many that are good. Let's actually click in and go a little further in looking at these. So, the main thing when I'm looking at backlinks, what I want to see is where this DR is. DR is basically how much power is this backlink giving your website. It's out of a 0 to 100 scale. Uh, you want to be as close to 100 as possible. So you can see this 91 here. That's doing a lot for them. That's a, that's a great thing. Zillow is a very trusted website. So, the, boom, that gives them a lot of power there. Uh, the porch.com. Um, 
which is all the 83, 80. Now we're getting a little lower, 70s, 53, that's okay. Uh, but then you get down, you see a 29. That's really not doing a whole lot for them. And you'll see these kind of fluctuating throughout, a lot of 45s. So just by looking at this, this would not be a difficult company to really overtake when it came to backlinks. Okay. So again, it just takes time to do everything. Google only likes things to really be organic in there. So basically what that means is we can't add everything all at once. Uh, only so many a month for Google to really uh, like what it's seeing. Okay. So then let's look at the Hiddle over here and let's see kind of what they have going on. So with Hiddle, they have 189 backlinks. Again, they don't have enough either, uh, but they are getting found for 1.4 thousand keywords. So that's a, that's a huge deal there. And so they're getting, bringing in about 420 uh, people to their website every month. And that's, you know, very good. Uh, so it looks like everybody that clicks on there, they're valuing out about $755 a piece. Uh, for per click so not bad at all but let's kind of look at their backlinks and see what they have going on so right away 53 21 2 this 2 is doing absolutely nothing for them um, what is horse therapy for kids well that has nothing to do with landscaping so again not doing anything for them uh, then okay hiring Hoosiers uh, Hamilton County landscaping so that's helping quite a bit commercial landscaping helping then uh, taste sip saver uh, Trinity free clinic again that's not really doing anything for them so again we way we beat these we go through and we find everything that's giving them a lot of power and as you can see these 90s in here are helping quite a bit uh, but we go through we find everything that's giving them power then at that point we actually copy every one of them once we copy them uh, then we go in and add more only ones that are giving power only ones that we know uh, and we have quite a few that we know that do work uh, especially for each niche um, so we have scads and scads of different backlinks and things that we can use to really take out the competition and again i know i said this earlier but the goal here is not to match our competition it's to de demolish the competition we want to be number one we want to be at the top of google uh that's where we make our money um if you're making money, you're happy, you're able to do more things and really put things back into the business as you want to. Okay. So in closing, uh, that's kind of the things I want to go over today. Uh, I didn't want to bog you down with too many things. Hopefully uh, you see where, the, where this can uh, really benefit you and, you know, take you to the next level. So uh, again, in closing, I kind of want to go over the three things that we talked about here. So we talked about content. Remember, you, you want to have at least 1,500 words of keyword rich content okay we went over uh, the Google map pack uh, we want to get you in the top three of the Google map pack again doesn't take a lot to do that just a little bit of time and then we talked about backlinks and citations and remember with the backlinks we want to have a minimum of 250 to 300 really to to get you going uh, and more and more as we can go the more you can never have too many when it comes to it of good powerful backlinks and citations okay so uh, hopefully, uh, you know, you, you really, really like this and you can either go with this information I provided you today and do your own, do it on your own. And I'm totally cool with that. However, if, if you want the most effective route and want to save yourself the time, uh, you can give us a call at 317-676-4405. And again, my name is Alex Stemley. I am the president and CEO of Stemley Consulting Group. And again, our phone number is 317-676-4405. Thank you so much, and I look forward to hearing from you. Bye.